What's up guys, David here, and this is the speed test that you guys have been asking for, like you've been asking it for it a lot, I've been reading the comments, and I get it. While the iPhone success was dethroned by the iPhone 7, it technically never lost its speed test champ title to a competitor. So today, we're taking Apple's flagship smartphone from all the way back in 2015, and putting it up against Samsung's 2017 flagship in the Galaxy S8. Will the iPhone success finally be defeated? Or will it go on to race another day? Let's find out. Looking for a protective case for your iPhone 7? The Evo Tactical Extreme from Tech21 offers the best possible protection without the extra bulk. See what happened when we put it up against the Autobox at the link below. Okay, so you know the drill, we'll start the stopwatches on each phone and then jump right into the first row of system apps, where right off the bat, the Galaxy S8's quicker animations allow it to take the lead, making those animations on the iPhone 6S look sluggish in comparison. But it's not just the animations that have given the S8 the lead, with the iPhone 6S taking considerably longer to load over Facebook, but it does a better job at loading Photoshop, putting it hot on the heels of the S8 as both phones are now working on Lapsit, where it'll be interesting to see if the iPhone 6S can make a comeback here. But no, from the looks of it, the S8 processed that time lapse at a slightly faster rate, allowing it to keep its lead as both phones move on to subway surfers. Now, historically, it's the heavy duty apps like Photoshop, Lapsit, and games where the iPhone has the advantage. And that seems to be the case here with the iPhone making the comeback as both phones are neck and neck heading into flip diving, where the iPhone success actually takes the lead, moving on to Crossy Road, but the Galaxy S8 is still right there behind it. So we'll see if we can take the lead right back. But no, it looks like the iPhone success will not only keep its lead, but it actually improved upon it as it finishes up with Crossy Road and starts working on Bullet Force. So as the Galaxy S8 finishes up with Crossy Road and moves on to Bullet Force, the iPhone 6S finishes up with Bullet Force and moves on to the last row, where there are four additional lightweight apps which may actually open the door for the S8 to make a comeback. Here we go, the S8 joins the success on the last row, but unfortunately it loads Spotify at a slower rate. The S8 also loads ESPN at a slower rate, as it does the Netflix app. So it's important to note that it isn't just games where the success can have the edge, with it finishing the first lap with a time of 1 minute and 34 seconds, with the S8 finishing 7 seconds later with a time of 1 minute and 41 seconds. As both phones work their way back up to the top here in the second lap, the faster animations on the S8 could actually allow it to make a comeback if its 4GB of RAM can keep more apps open in the background than the iPhone 6S's 2GB of RAM. But heartbreaker, the S8 fails to keep Subway surfers open, so its only real hope is if the iPhone success somehow stumbles here in the second lap, which so far it hasn't. But going into the calendar app, the success didn't keep the calendar entry we started open in memory, and it also didn't keep the gallery open, slowing it down but not enough for the S8 to make a comeback, with the success finishing with a total time of 2 minutes and 17 seconds, while after failing to keep Photoshop, Snapchat, and Facebook open, the S8 does manage to keep the calendar entry stored in memory, finishing the speed test 14 seconds later with a total time of 2 minutes and 31 seconds, making the winner from 2015, the iPhone 6S. Taking a look at the individual app load up times from the first lap, you can see that while the Galaxy S8 beat the success in 5 apps, the success actually beat the S8 in a total of 10 apps, which in addition to the second lap, contributed to its victory here. Anyways, that is it for me in this video, thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.